Well, there's, you know, Michael, there's mm -hmm. very little space for authentic masculinity, not caricature and not what we see on the news presented as masculine, not toxic masculinity, but redeemed masculinity. And one of the fundamental questions that's hidden in the Trinity is what does it look like for wholehearted, mature femininity? to be integrated into wholehearted, mature masculinity. And of course we see that expressed in marriage, but I believe there's so much more available in the body of Christ in the full expression of restored creation. So all that to say, become good soil and becoming a king is a space for men to be unapologetically received as men, challenged as men, invested as men and there are as many participants in that space that are women as there are that are men because it's not exclusive it's actually a space where it's authenticity we're after and as a man i'm very curious what it means to love a woman well and to understand femininity and be a student of my precious fiery princess abigail who's 17 i'm a student of her heart and so i'm constantly courageously stepping into feminine spaces to learn how to love. So yeah, it's a very gender, um, gender valued space. And my wife, Sherry partners with me in a lot of the work. And so we're after full restoration of women as women and men as men. Mm, that is so beautiful. Yeah. And, um, you know, I get into a little bit of trouble uh, when I start quoting you because um, I've uh, talked to you live, had conversations in person, seen you speak at Wild at Heart events, uh, previous podcast, and and reading your book, and you know so many resources. Um, I have no idea where I heard you say <laughs> certain yeah. things. Like I don't know if it's in your book or not, but um, I do remember you talking about how uh, entering into marriage, you know, understanding how to relate to the feminine heart in marriage and then having your daughter. Um, I think you mentioned it in the book, but again, I'm not, uh, I don't remember. Or it might've been all of those <laughs> that I just mentioned, all of those resources. But uh, I remember you talking about that and um, being the father of two daughters. And I actually have a 22 year old named Abigail as well. Oh, and that's um, so, yeah being a student of their heart is really because guys don't we we don't we don't know i mean we 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 understand a little bit more how to father a son right uh, but uh, it is it's a little bit it's more confusing because uh, there's so many things that we don't know uh, about the feminine heart and um, all the more reason why uh, really the way that god created us was for community and needing other people and sages the guys like you, you know, uh, who can mentor us through books and, and medium, you know, podcasts, uh, that's so important.